in this video clip, I'm going to create a sphere. So let's grab our circle tool and I'm going to change the number of sides to 36. So we get a smoother sphere than what you would get with 24 sides. So starting at the origin, I'm going to drag out. Now I want to make sure I get an, a, an inference point on the axis. So I'm going to move this until I see this red square there. And I don't care what the measurement's going to be right now. But I want to make sure that that's on the axis because remember we have all these little itty bitty little segments. So now I'm going to switch to one of the side views and put in another circle. But notice that this one says endpoint. That what that means is I'm on this, I'm on that endpoint, I'm on that edge of that circle. And I don't want to be on the edge of that circle. I want to be at the center of the circle. So make sure that this says center when you draw your second circle. We want circles to be there we go there's that endpoint that we want and you'll see what i what i'm talking about in just a sec here so let's put our orbit tool on and now you'll see what what the goal is we want to have a circle in two different planes so we have a circle here that's in the blue green plane and one that's in the green red plane so now it's a matter of using our follow me tool and I have this perspective window open because it's, I just find this to be helpful. So when we're changing around from those views, so let's use the follow me tool. I'm going to select, sorry, one of the surfaces, the follow me tool and my other surface. So now we have our sphere and we can delete some things and then notice what happens. So if I deleted that interior circle there, that one that went all the way around, it kind of took away some of the geometry. So let's put that back. What happens if I delete one little piece here? This is what I think is really cool. I took out one little piece there and look what happened. So remember every time you have segments and you take one of the segments away, you're then going to be taking away some of the surfaces that that had created. So if I take this segment away, now we lose this surface, which I think is really cool. Uh, one last thing for our SketchUp stuff for today would be to show you some different views. So let's, different from the views here, what I want to show you are some actual, those were perspective, Let's go into styles. And here we have some different styles that I want to point out for you guys. So default style is where I want you to click. Now here we have wireframe and then under wireframe we have x-ray. And x-ray I think is just so cool because now you can see inside any of your models you are in literally an x-ray view you're seeing inside. So there's the image of that little piece that I had deleted. So this is something you can mess around with. Wireframe, kind of similar, but we don't have a lot of segments, so that one's not gonna work too well. And then your default style is in your upper left corner. You can mess around with some of this stuff. This was kind of cool because this view actually gives you grass and a sky, which I think is helpful for kids. But I just wanted to show you X review, which is kind of similar to showing your having your students use a glass paint bucket mesh, uh, material. So let's put this back since we've got a few minutes here. Let's put this back to the default view. And Close this and let's pull up our paint bucket. So remember we talked about glass and mirrors. Sorry, I misspoke before. This is actually glass here. So if I click here, that whole top piece now that's glass so we can see through it. So that's similar to the x-ray view. Mirror is used when you're creating, I don't know, mirrors can be used for other stuff. I don't really use that too much, so I can't speak to that one. 
But this is a hole, so that's not a surface that can be painted because they actually cut that stuff away. Um, boy, there's just so much we can do here, guys. Uh, I am going to, let's see, let's stop this for a sec so it stops moving. I am going to go back over to my website, which is here, and just point out a couple of things that you might want to look at, and that would be under 3D. So these are all of the things that I've created. Some of these have videos that are on YouTube and unfortunately they use the old menu. So I apologize, they haven't been updated because this takes a lot of time. So here are some pages about pyramids. The videos are probably on YouTube. Yeah, the videos are on YouTube of how to make them under this 12 solids page. So all of these videos are on YouTube. But they are old. The main thing I want to show you before I close is on the 3D page, and that is the Taurus, the pink inner tube. I think this is really cool. So I have the directions to make it an inner tube, which is a Taurus, and you can follow through that. The section tool is really nice. You can cut through a solid to show a plane within that solid. Um, notice again that this is the old toolbar, but I showed you where the perspective views are. So you know where that menu is now. So got a couple of different things you can look at on my website. Fractals are pretty cool. Uh, that's about it guys. Thanks for watching.